What's going on, everybody? It's Chris. I'm out here with my dad. We're out here. We're going to be chasing down some Gamble's quail again this year. So I got some comments that were suggesting that they were hard, weren't that hard. We're going to get out. We're going to do some more chasing, see what we can get. It's pretty thick in this area, so we're probably going to be shooting them on the ground. But we're going to get out there, see if we can't get some birds. on the ground right in front of me. Bird. <laughs> come. Holy crap, dude, there's a badger. Hefe, there's a badger. I can shoot him. I don't either. I want to go check him out. Holy cow. Look at that thing. Arizona badger. I'm gonna move on, dude. I always swore I saw a badger out here once. Never saw another one. That's cool. I was gonna shoot it one a second ago, but I didn't know where you were at. The one that flushed out of the trees, it shot straight this way and I didn't know where you were. I know, I was behind you. Yeah. It's not worth it if I don't know where you're at, man. Not over a bird. Have someone lose an eye or something. Two down, two of them down. Um, they actually just came out of this bush right next to you. What's going on everybody? It's the next day, we weren't able to get it done that night, but we're gonna get them cooked up today. We're gonna be doing our five quail, 
We're putting them on the Z grill, getting them on, getting them some nice smoke, getting them a little nice, low and slow, get them nice and tender. Then we're gonna be doing some jalapeno poppers, jalapenos, cream cheese, and bacon. And then we're gonna do some butter and herb rice. It'll be a good dinner. We'll catch you in the kitchen. All right, we got the quail. They're done. We just pulled them off. And that is gonna have our first bite of Gamble's quail. It looks like chicken. It tastes like mostly chicken. Weird chicken, no. AKA is what Netta just said. I said mostly chicken. So the reason we're just eating quail, the jalapeno poppers are taking a little longer than we thought. And so we're just, I don't want the quail to get dried out. Tastes good, just tastes like critter. I don't know how to describe it other than just tastes like yard bird or like a chicken you grew yourself, not like a store-bought chicken. It tastes like, like a farm-raised chicken. Just ended up putting just a little bit of um, the Everglades fish and chicken on it. Put a little bit of barbecue sauce on there right towards the end just to give it a little bit of flavor. But tastes really good. Thanks for coming with us on the hunt. Catch, clean, and cook. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop us a like and a comment. We'll catch you later. Hey everyone, it's Chris. And Netta. If you like the video, drop us a like. And subscribe. Thanks for being a part of our everyday.